don't lie to me. I just scanned your network and browsing history and you're using the same password for all your services. Really? Well, that's a bad idea. You need to start using a password manager. Why? Let's dive in. A uh, password manager is a cloud service that stores and manages all of your online login credentials in one place securely and giving you the liberty to not have to use the same password for every service that you use. Because who's going to remember 200 plus passwords? Because nobody does. This results in people using the same password for everything. Good morning, guys. That's right. What's believed to be the largest data breach in history. Did With a password get, manager, you only need to remember one master password. But of course, I'm also going to show you how to add multi-factor authentication on top of that. So no one could get in your vault, but only you. Your passwords will be stored in an encrypted vault and you can finally stop using weak passwords for every site since the service will even suggest strong passwords for you. Once you have everything set up, you can create different folders with different passwords. You can share your passwords with family members and you can have passwords that only you can see as well. You'll also be able to autofill your passwords on both your computer and your mobile device. This portion is very important to me because I use my phone a ton and require the passwords to work there as well. And sure, you can accomplish the same thing with an Excel spreadsheet, but then there's a risk you lose the file and even with a password, they can be cracked since spreadsheets were not designed to be password vaults. You also cannot add multi-factor authentication and it's just not a good idea. Trust me, bro. There's also gonna be occasions where you can't access your Excel spreadsheet file since you're not home or on your device. And because of this, there's a bigger chance of you reusing the same passwords to avoid having to get into your messy spreadsheet. Come on, man. You can also use something like the built-in Google Chrome's password manager, but I do not recommend this since they don't use zero knowledge encryption and Google can see everything that you save. They're also susceptible to attacks from websites that can steal your passwords. There's many password managers out there like 1Password, Dashlane, NordPass, and LastPass. But on today's example, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your vault with Bitwarden since it's free and they have amazing reviews. This video is not sponsored and I'm only showing you them because of their good trajectory and they also use zero knowledge encryption, which means they cannot see or know your passwords. Only you can. So let's head over to bitwarden.com, click on products for personal use, create a free account, enter your email and click sign up, verify this email and enter your one master password along with a hint and click on create account. Make sure to remember this master password since this is the one and only you're going to use from now on. I recommend you leave the option to check known data breaches for this password. Now let's create a password by going to the top right, click on new, click login, enter the item name, the username, create a password of your own or have Bitwarden generate a very strong one for you. Fill out the website URL for auto-filling options and click save. If you're like many people out there, you're going to have your password stored in Google Password Manager. Let me show you how to export them and get them out of there. Open Chrome and go to the top right options. Click passwords and autofill. Settings. Under export passwords, click download file and save the CSV to your desktop. Now let's import these passwords into Bitwarden by going to tools, import data, 
Under Data, select Chrome CSV, choose File, and find a previously saved CSV file. Click Import Data, and just like that, you have imported all your old passwords from Google. You can now delete everything from the Google side. Bye, Felicia. You can also share your passwords with other people, but it's going to require the premium option, which will only cost you $10 per year, which I recommend since for $10, it's very affordable and it goes to supporting this great company. Now let's add multi-factor authentication. We want this in case your master password ever gets compromised. Hackers can't just get in with the password. They're still going to need to authenticate a second way. Go to settings, security, two-step login, and under email, click on manage. Enter your master password, enter your email address, click on send email, enter the verification code, and click turn on. You now have MFA enabled. So the next time you go log in, it's going to ask you for your master password, and you're going to have to provide a code that is now sent to this email that you just set up. That's two forms of authenticating, two-factor authentication. There's also options to add an authenticator, a passkey, and with the premium options, you're going to get Ubico and Duo. Whatever you do, do not skip this part. You should at the very least enable the email MFA like I just showed you. You can also add the Google Chrome extension to help with autofilling passwords when you visit a website, just like you're used to when you are using the Google Password Manager. I recommend that you also download the Bitwarden app on your Android or iPhone since this is also going to help you autofill your passwords on your mobile device. I even have biometric login enabled in Bitwarden, so I don't have to enter my password every single time. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you're able to take advantage of using a password manager. While it can seem annoying and hard to set up, it's not. It only takes a few minutes and it's even free. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our channel for more free content like this and give this video a like so it can spread to other people and so it can help them out too. Be a friendly neighbor. Until next time, Ultratech out.